Welcome to AWS Solution Architect Associate. Today we'll be going through this module 11 guided lab, streaming dynamic content using Amazon CloudFront. So this is a lab overview and objective. So in this lab, we will use Amazon CloudFront to de deliver a dynamic multi bit rate stream to a connected device using Apple's HTTP live streaming HLS protocol. The stream can be played on any browser that supports the HLS protocol. So in this lab, we will be using Elastic Amazon Elastic Transcoder to convert a source video into multiple bit rates that will be delivering using the CloudFront. So after completing this lab, we should be able to create a multiple bit rate versions of given source media file using Amazon Elastic Transcoder. Use Amazon CloudFront to deliver the dynamic stream rate created by Amazon Elastic Transcoder. So at the end of this lab, our architecture would look something like this. So we'll be having an S3 input packet with MP4 media file. So the input file used to create an elastic transcoder job will have a Amazon elastic transcoder job which will transcode the HLS output stored and it will store the S3 output to the bucket and from the S3 bucket we will be creating a CloudFront streaming distribution and when the we have any consumer so the consumer will be able to get the data from the CloudFront or directly from the S3 bucket okay so let's i have already started this lab so let's start with task one lab preparation so in this lab you will be using a sample video file to configure a dynamic stream for your convenience an amazon simple storage bucket has already been created in the aws management console on the S services menu choose s3 an s3 bucket containing the string aws training event should be present note the region that the bucket is in and open the bucket so let's go to aws open the aws account and then after opening the AWS now we will need to go to services and choose S3. Let's go to S3. And we should have a bucket already created for us. So we have this AWS training event. So this is the bucket which is already created for us. And we should know the region that the bucket is in and open the bucket. So let's see. So it's in US East 1. So let's open this. And then inside this we have an input. And then we have this Amazon S3 sample.mp4 file. So we have this file inside this S3 bucket. So open the input folder. It contains a video file name. So we have already done this. So let's continue with task two. So this time we need to create an Amazon CloudFront distribution. So in this task, we will create an Amazon CloudFront distribution that we will be using to deliver multi multiple bitrate files generated by Amazon Elastic Transcoder to end user devices. On the services menu, let's choose CloudFront. So I prefer to search here. Let's go to CloudFront and okay so this is a cloud front and we need to go to choose create a cloud front distribution so let's create a distribution and then let's follow what they want us to do and we need to enter the following information under origin settings Sel select the origin domain field a list of s3 bucket would appear so this is the s3 bucket okay choose the one that was created earlier that was okay so leave origin access as public so that should be public under web application firewall select do not enable security protection so do not enable security protection and let's create a distribution so now we have created a cloud from distribution let's move to task 3 create an amazon elastic transcoder pipeline create a pipeline so in this section we will create a pipeline that will manage the jobs to transcode the input file so in the aws management console on the services menu choose elastic transcoder so let's go to elastic transcoder so this is the elastic transcoder in the navigation bar on the amazon elastic transcoder console select the same region that the s3 bucket was created in so we need to choose us east one so we are in the same bucket that sounds good on the pipeline page choose create a new pipeline and let's say create new pipeline and here for pipeline name enter input pipeline so let's follow this pipeline name for input bucket select the aws training in one s3 bucket so let's choose this bucket and then for im role under other roles select amazon elastic transcoder role And let's choose Amazon Elastic Transcoder role. So this is a role that was recreated in this lab's cloud formation template that uses the manage policy. 
So Amazon Elastic Transcoder role, the Elastic Transcoder role service will assume this role to access Amazon S3 and Amazon SNS resource in your lab account. Okay. So let's move to task number 17. So in the configuration for Amazon S3 bucket for transcoded file and playlist section, enter the following information. So let's under the bucket select. So under the bucket, so we have this bucket. Select the S3 bucket. So we need to choose this. And this should be under storage class, select standard. So let's do standard. And so in the configuration of Amazon S3 bucket for thumbnail section, enter the following information. So it should be the same. It's a thumbnail, so you don't have to be standard. Okay. And then we need to go and say create pipeline. So we've created a pipeline. So now we need to create a job. So in this section, you will create a job under the Amazon Elastic Transcoder Pipeline that was just created. The job does the work of transcoding the input file into multiple bit rates as selected. So on the pipeline page, choose create new job. So let's go and create a new job. So we should share. So we need to choose the input pipeline. And for the output key prefix, enter output slash. So let's copy this. output slash okay amazon elastic transcoder will prevent this value the name of all the files that the job will create so for input key select the input file labeled as input slash amazon s3 sample.mp4 okay so we will configure the output details so the setting in this section will determine how many output files bitrate are created so we'll configure three output files for the demo having three separate bitrates 2 mbps 1.5 mbps and 1 mbps so each output bitrate will require you to create a separate output detail section okay so let's continue with 24 for preset let's select system preset hls2m hls2m system preset hls2m i've chosen this and then for segment duration enter 10 so let's say 10 and then for output key enter the unique prefix h so let's choose this so we need to click add another output so let's say so let's add another output so in this case now we need to choose the preset as hls1 hls15m hls15m 1.5m and so let's choose this sorry so it should not be here this should be here and this should be 10 and then let's add another one let's choose s h l h l s 1 m should be 10 let's copy this again okay so do not create the job yet instead complete the next few steps in this lab which will have you to add a playlist to the job so let's configure a playlist let's add a playlist and let's follow along master playlist name should be primary let's say primary let's add this v3 and i need to choose 20m i should add from here so i should add 15m and i should add another again it should be 10m so let's create a new job it says all the output key in hls v3 playlist must have container type of ts service elastic so it says something is wrong 20m so did i miss anything the playlist will combine all the individual bitrate playlist and provide a single url for the devices to play playback the stream under playlist adaptive streaming 
uh, did I did in the playlist of adaptive streaming choose choose it shouldn't be choose HLS preset it should be HLS 1.5 okay and this should be HLS one okay I think this time you should create a new job yes so we are successfully created a job and let's continue so now we need to test a playback of the dynamic multi bit rate stream so let's construct the playback URL. The playback URL that relates to Amazon CloudFront is comprised of two components. Amazon CloudFront domain name, part of the playlist file in the S3 bucket. So let's obtain the Amazon CloudFront domain name. So let's go to CloudFront. So let's go to CloudFront. And then let's select Amazon CloudFront distribution that was previously created. So this is the CloudFront distribution which I've created. And then we should have distribution domain name here. And we need to go to the, we need to copy this. Okay. So in progress to enable, so it should be enabled. So let's see from the distribution. So the status is enabled. Let's go to this in the settings. So that's, this is the distribution domain name. Okay and let's paste it here we'll come back again so let's continue so we need to open the playlist file path so let's go to s3 let's open this so let's go to output folder so it should be in the end so let's choose this next you must create the url in the file from so the path would be output primary to the end of the cloud front. If I say so it's double here, okay. So the new URL should look similar to like this. Type the URL into the default browser or of an iOS or Android device. If you do not have a mobile device available, type the URL into your browser on a computer. So the stream should start playing on the device and dynamically request the relevant segment based on your bandwidth and CPU condition. If I try here, it should it will try to download the file because this is how the how by default Brave browser work. So let me just open a Safari browser and let's try there. I have opened the Safari browser, so let's paste the URL here. I have the URL. It would be this one. I can say enter. Then it should start streaming in different bitrate. Now let's play. We have successfully played the video. Okay. So we have successfully learned the basic concept of and terminology of Amazon Elastic Transcoder and Amazon CloudFront services. So we have created our own Amazon Elastic Transcoder pipeline and Amazon Cloud Formation distrib CloudFront distribution. We have used Amazon Elastic Transcoder to transcode a video file into different HLS formats and distribute it to a remote device using Amazon CloudFront. So we can we can verify that by using this CloudFront distribution, right? So let's submit. Let's say yes. Let's say grades. We are able to score 40 out of 40. And thank you for joining and hope to see you in another session.